disclaimer. This video contains the information published by the Department of Education in line with MILK. We do not assert ownership on the material being used. Science 5. Lesson. Changes in matter and its effect in the environment. The physical and chemical changes that materials undergo have important roles in our day-to-day -day activities. Unfortunately, not all changes that take place in matter are good. Some are harmful and even dangerous. It is important to learn the changes that matter undergo and its effect on our environment. Read the questions carefully. Explain how changes in matter affect the environment. Identify what will happen to the objects when heat is applied. Match the objects in column A to the products in column B. The following materials undergo either physical or chemical change. Identify whether the change in the material show good or bad effects on the environment. Changes in matter can cause a good or bad effect on the environment. Some changes in matter result in good effects in the environment. Composting, recycling, and the use of technology are some examples of the good effects of the changes in materials. Composting is a way of decomposing plant or animal matter into fertilizer. Recycling helps lessen garbage by reusing them like plastic, styrofoam, old tires, and paper. Evaporation and condensation are forms of physical change in matter. Evaporation is a crucial part of the water cycle. Water from all areas on Earth will not be recycled if they will not evaporate into water vapor as clouds in the sky. Condensation is important in transforming water vapor through droplets water stored in clouds. Some changes in matter may result in negative effect like pollution, destruction of habitat, and loss of lives. Improper disposal of garbage, harmful chemicals, and human waste can cause changes. It can pollute air, land, and water. Burning of garbage materials releases dangerous toxic chemicals that contribute to the greenhouse effect and global warming. 
smoke from the burning of oil and coal and wood can also cause air pollution. Cutting down trees is also harmful to our environment. It affects the quality of the air that we breathe. It causes a rapid change in the temperature and in turn changes the weather patterns, which leads to other environmental concerns. Throwing into the river the detergents used for washing the clothes makes the river become polluted because these contain toxic substances. Polluted water kills living organisms like fish and water plants. When land is dumped with garbage, the land becomes polluted. If this happens, the polluted land will serve as the breeding places for the pests that carry germs, hence dangerous to human health. We have to do our share in maintaining a healthy environment. We must avoid too much use of electricity and gasoline. We must also avoid burning rubber tires and plastics. We must avoid practices that will produce acid rain, increase global temperature, or deplete the ozone layer. No matter how big or small contribution you give, what matters most if you've made a difference for our environment? Identify which bad effect to the environment results from the following changes in matter. The following are activities whereby materials undergo change. As a grade 5 learner, how will you change these activities in order to have a good effect on the environment? Write yes if the following changes in matter have a good effect on the environment and no if it has a bad effect. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer to complete the thought of the paragraph. List down activities that you can do with the following materials to save and protect the environment. Read and answer the questions carefully. These focus on explaining how changes in matter affect the environment.
Study the activities below, draw a happy face if it shows good effect on the environment and a sad face if not.